and this is Sunrise with Wayne and Pat. Sunrise, and we welcome you on this Tuesday. Glad to have you with us. Going to be uh, interesting weather by the end of this week. Now, yesterday was beautiful. Today is going to be the warmest day you've seen in quite a while. Today we're going to hit about 70 degrees. We're going to be right on up there. Lots of sunshine. I don't yeah. know. Sunday was quite warm. Well, you know, it was it was warm on Sunday, but. But I don't think we got out of the 60s, but uh, today we're going to get into the, the, a 70 degree range. It's going to be a beautiful day, but by the end of the week, look out. It well, drops to the 40s. It's going to, drop, it's going to drop quite a bit. In fact, overnight low on Friday night will be right around the freezing mark, maybe a little below that. And then Saturday night, we're going to be in the 20s. Be ready for that. I mean, it is winter time after all. It is. It is winter Don't time. Don't forget, after. right after the show this morning at eight o'clock, see the commissioners' meeting. The pre-agenda is like, or the agenda briefing is at eight, followed by the regular meeting at nine. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And if you go to wangov.com, you can scroll down and hit the live broadcast link, and you can see the meeting live. And if you happen to miss attending it or seeing it live, you can see it on tonight at seven. And Thursday night at 7. Well, you covered everything. I got it. You got it all right there. But everybody's invited to attend if you can get over here to the courthouse at uh, the corner of William and Walnut Street in downtown Goldsboro. But like Pat says, if you can't make it, then you can watch it live as it's happening on Ustream. Go to WayneGov.com and then scroll down the page. you find the link right in front of you there. And then if you miss it that way as well, you'll be able to see it again tonight and Thursday night. There you go. 7 o'clock. Channel 10 on your Time Warner cable, which is no longer Time Warner cable, it is Spectrum cable now. And channel, channel 99 on AT&T Uverse. Go to 99, then you click on 99, you scroll down until you find Wayne County. We're in there. That's all you gotta do. Just put your mind to it. Just knuckle down, buckle down, and do it, do it, do it. What's special about today? Wayne Alley. No. No, today is number five of the day of the month of the uh, year of uh, the uh, <laughs> of December. December. Thank you. All right, the fifth day. Today is AFL-CIO day. I mean, we're all adults here. There's no need to spell it. What do you think? Okay, it's also the Colombian International Day of the Reef. Day of the Reef. It's International Ninja Day. How? Ow! It's also International Volunteer Day for Economic and Social Development. It is. It's World Soil Day. Get your hands dirty. It's also... It's also Bathtub Party Day. Would you like to explain? Uh, no, I wouldn't care to explain that one. No, no. I would not care to explain that one. But on a serious note, let's get serious here just a moment. You know, the people in Wayne County who have trouble in the winter months meeting their heating bills. Now, there is a program that's been in place for a number of years called LEAP, L-I-E-A-P, Low Income Energy Assistance Program. And the way that works is that the Department of Social Services We'll talk to those who are eligible to apply. Well, everybody's eligible to apply, but not everybody will be able to, to take advantage. But those who are eligible to receive these funds uh, will have their, uh, a one-time payment paid to their heating vendor. That could be a gas company, a power company, or whatever. Uh, now, between now and the end of this month, those who would be eligible are 60 and older or disabled. Now through the end of the month, or until funds are exhausted. The second date would be from January 1 to December 31st. Anybody can apply. Anybody can apply from January 1 to December 31st. But right now it's 16 above or disabled. And DSS encourages. Oh yeah, DSS wants, they've got the money. This is not, this is not Wayne County tax money. That's correct. This, these are federal funds. These are federal funds. So if you uh, would care to apply, you need your social security number for each household member. So if you've got four people in your home, you need social security number for each one of them. Take it with you. You need the account number of your heating utility bill. Now that would probably show up on your heating bill, which I would recommend taking instead of just providing an accounting, uh, an account number. Take your whole heating bill with you. 
and proof of income for the month prior to the month of application. So if you're applying now, they'll need proof of income for November. If you wait until, say, February, they'll need proof of income from January. All right? Now, where do you apply? Applications are taken at four places. Number one is at the Wayne County Department of Social Services, and that is at Herman Park Center. Herman Park Center. They'll be doing this Monday through Friday from 8.30 until 4.30. What? I'm just, that's a little confusing. That is very confusing. So I think it's at Herman Park Center and not at Social Service. I mean, I know they're right across from each other. They're right across from each other. But uh, did I say Herman Park Center? I thought I said Herman Park Center. You did. Oh, okay. But I don't want them to thank Department of Social Service because that is not where her, they're not in Herman Park Center. Now, that's true. Anyway. Herman Park Center. Herman Park Center. You'll want to apply for the LEAP program, Low Income Energy Assistance. They'll be doing this Monday through Friday from 8.30 until 4.30. Mar uh, now through March 31st so until the money's exhausted. The second place is to go to the Services on Aging office. And that's at the Peggy Seeger Senior Center on East Ash Street, 2101 East Ash. Uh, they'll be taking applications now through December 15th between 8 and 1. Now through December 15th. The third place is at the Wages Nutrition Site or the Senior Citizen Center at 711 Northwest Center Street in Mount Olive. Mount Olive. Now, they will be taking applications Monday through Friday from 9 to 12.30, December 18th through December 29th, except for the Christmas holidays, December 25th, 6th, and 7th. And the fourth location is in Fremont at 120 East Main Street in Fremont. 120 East Main Street at the Town Hall. That's Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 12.30, December 18th through March 31st. All these locations are taking applications until the money is exhausted. Now, they may give out, but they've got money. It's federal money. It's not tax money from here in Wayne County. All right? So if you have any questions, talk to Vicki Jackson with the Wayne County Department of Social Services. Okay? Questions? Do you have a trivia question today? A trivia question. I have a trivia question today. The trivia question is today. You know, there's a little over 200, a shade over 200 nations in the entire world. There's a little over 200. Some days it's 203, some days it's 205. It just depends on who's at war right now. Out of all those 200 plus nations, out of all those 200 plus nations, only two of them border three oceans. Three oceans. Name either one of them. There's only two out of all 200 plus border three oceans. Which ones are they? Either one of them. That's the trivia question. I'll have the answer for you toward the end of the program. There you go. Bada, 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 boom. Today is the Pesticide Disposal Collection Day, which is held at Cherry Research Farms. It begins at 10 o'clock until uh -huh. 2 today. Any old or unwanted pesticides can be taken to this site for um, safe disposal. Why are you looking at me like that? To see if you have anything to say. I am not a pest. Homeowners are included. We're going to move on to our next segment. We'll be back after this segment. That's up next on Sunrise with Wayne and Pat. Today we have a special guest in the studio, a, an author, but his profession is doctor of chiropractic, mm -hmm. Dr. Patrick Gallagher. Patrick, always good to see you. How, How you doing? Doing, doing well. Doing well. You have written a book, but first of all, before we get to the book, I want to find out about what you do. Okay. You snap bones into place, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a crude way of looking I at it. I know it is. Well, I'm a but, crude guy. <laughs> wait, wait a Tell me about Dr. Patrick Gallagher. Okay. Tell me about it. Um, what, what I do uh, here in Goldsboro is we're one of... Uh, 600 worldwide board certified atlas orthogonalists. It's Whoa, an atlas orthogonalist. It's Greek. Uh, Greek is. It is Greek. It's Greek it to is, me. <laughs> most people are stuck that way. But orthogonal is um, a preparation of 90 degrees. And if you're not orthogonal, you're off from 90 degrees. And atlas is the top bone in the neck that we specialize on. 
uh, Dr. Roy Sweat invented the technique back in the 70s about how to specifically correct that one vertebrae. And, uh, well, what could be the problem? What could the, that uh, disalignment cause? Um, common one is a lot of migraine headaches, uh, vertigo, uh, stiff neck, uh, pains down the arm, uh, all sorts of malaise, just not, you're not functioning right because right. you're getting irritation in the brain stem. Because ah. that very top bone, the lightest in the spine, about two to three ounces, supports this bowling ball of a skull. Supports your head. Uh -huh, so if, this is out, if that's out of alignment, then your head is on crooked. Is on crooked <laughs> and your head's not on straight. Thus yeah. the title, is the your title head, of the book. Is, is your head on straight. Um, <clears throat> because when that deviates, it puts uh, irritation at the brainstem level. And I wrote it in detail in the book that uh, when a person is hung, what actually happens is the big knot behind the skull is where they have like about eight or ten loops of the rope and then the one strand to the front that you cause a flexion and extension simultaneously that the skull goes forward the neck goes backward and you break the neck right at the brainstem level pretty crude but it is crude, but it's quick. It is quick. It's, it's pretty, <laughs> if you're weighted down well So all enough, those horse thieves uh, back in the eight, 1800s. Right. They, they, like the Mideast, well, I mean, over in Europe, they would chop their heads off. Yeah. Well, well that was quick, too. Yeah. Well, a little messy, though. Yeah, that was kind of messy. We got a little cleaner in the good old USA. <laughs> so. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> the, the Atlas, as I recall, is only a few ounces in weight. It, mm -hmm. and it, that is, that's what holds the head up straight. Correct. Right, right, right. So uh, if the head's not on straight, I'm just trying to sure. get this right Rationally. in my, my feeble mind. Mm -hmm. If your head's not on straight, that causes all kinds of problems. P perhaps headaches, perhaps. Sure. And what actually happens as it deviates, because here's the skull, and there's that light two to three This one right bone. here. Yes, sir. The, the first one right there. C1. C1. One. Cervical one. Oh, gotcha. And there's seven cervical that. bones. Well, I knew that. Well educated. Thank you. So, uh, so when it deviates, the head goes crooked, and I sense that. Where God made us very meticulously orchestrated that when the eye sense that deviation, that information goes right to the brain, and the brain controls the body, and the body says, that's not good, because you're going to walk into a doorpost walking crooked. Right. So the body deviates, called a writing reflex. The body's going to attempt to take out that distortion of the skull being off-center. Tries to compensate. Exactly, and okay. and the leg will draw up shorter, and the pelvis distorts, and the shoulders distort as the body adapts to that crookedness. So if you're off just a tiny bit, it's major problems. Right, it's millimeters. We we measure it in millimeters of lateral deviation, and then when it goes to the side, by the roundness of the condyles, it has to rotate. It either rotates forward or backward. So when that twisting happens, this white line you see here is actually the vertebral artery. And when that rotation happens in there, as I mentioned in uh, Neural Anatomy 101 in my book, there's an artery that goes through there. And it supplies 80% of the blood supply to the midbrain. And uh, vertigo, or spinning and all like that, is greatly uh, impacted when that rotation happens. I uh, have an interesting story I wrote in the book about a, a patient who was a patient of mine for a while and she had a little, uh, she had a boy and she was under my care throughout this time period, not that often because she was from up in the uh, uh, way up north of Bath, so it was a long drive for her to come. Yeah, yeah. But anyhow, she came in and it seemed like her atlas had misaligned from one side to the other and that's usually done by a trauma car accident, a uh, bad blow to the head, and she, she said, no traumas to me. But what she would do is she'd cuddle her child, and the boy would always grab her earlobe and pull it. And she gave in to that, because it was a cute old boy, he'd do it for a few minutes. But numerous times a day, for a good 18 months, well, not quite 18 months, but a, a long time period. And so her head was so tilted all the time as he pulled on that, she, that very light bone me. shifted That's from side to side, yeah. And she had vertigo so bad she couldn't even lie on my table. Really? But we tap that bone correctly. We don't twist and pop. We just a very <laughs> light percussive force <laughs> and straightened it out. Okay, you tap the bone. Uh-huh. How do you do that? <laughs> Run it by me okay. again. Uh, we have a table, um, 
a table with a machine mounted on it yeah. with a stylus that's like a metal probe comes yeah. down and goes right over there. Yeah. And we step a battle, uh, pedal and it fires it off and a compressive uh, force wave goes into there. It's just by vibration essentially. Really? So it's so very delicate <clears throat> that patients don't even feel it. They don't feel it. They don't feel it because you can touch it. I don't know. Before I adjust them, I say, Let me put your finger on the tip of that and I fire it off so they feel it. So it does look pretty apprehensive, but there's no excursion, there's no thrusting of it. It's just simple vibrations. How about that? It's pretty amazing. That's why there's not many doctors that do it. Uh, there's, I mean, there's eight other clinics in the state of North Carolina that do this work, and we all know each other. So, there's <laughs> so that's amazing. Uh, that is just amazing. So how is she doing? She's doing very well. Very good. I was. That is was, that a one-time thing, or does she? Um, well. For or her, does it depend on the, the severity of the severity of the case? How long it's been out? Yeah. Other factors? Uh, do they sleep on their stomach? Ergonomic issues? How are they positioned? Uh, you know, do they sleep on a uh, two pillows? Something like that? That's not very good for the neck, because you're going to cause hyperextension when you're sleeping at rest, and that's not good. So your head up like that's not good. Right, like a whiplash while you're sleeping. Oh man, <laughs> that's not good. Okay. So, yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of cases in there. I had one from uh, uh, just over here in uh, Pine Hill um, that she had to step backward and go one step at a time down a flight of steps because her balance was so far off. If she stood upright and went down this flight of steps, she would have tumbled down. And once we adjusted her atlas, she was halfway down the flight of stairs before she realized she was doing normally. And <laughs> this is fascinating. Yeah. Uh, so. That little bone has a lot of power, doesn't it? I mean, it yes, really sir. does a lot of work. Across the board, all chiropractors are pretty much agree there's one vertebrae you want to get in alignment. It's the atlas. And all professions. That's a C1, isn't it? C1, number <coughs> one. You got you it. You got it, man. You got it. <laughs> okay. What are some of the other issues that someone might have with their spine alignment? And that's, that is your specialty, right. the yes, spine. That's that's a cause, but are there other issues with your spine that could cause your sc spine to be out of alignment? Sure. Um, <coughs> just uh, other issues like uh, a simple fall, landing on the buttocks, yeah. uh, stepping off a curb, not being aware of it, that kind of jolt into the the frame. Because that will do it. That will do it. Really? My, my introduction to chiropractic came back in 1980 where I was in a motorcycle accident where I had a uh, Landed on the left side of my skull without a helmet on, not a good combination. So, uh, and helmets were not required by law at that time. I, they, they I was in a field. I was out on a motorcycle oh, okay. back on the trails up in New York, okay. and uh, I broke my jaw. I cracked some ribs, so it was really traumatic. But um, you were in a coma. Yeah, eleven days. 11 wow. Days. So, uh, and. Uh, but that turned me on to chiropractic because I started seeking a chiropractor in New York, but I didn't have my head on straight even yet. I had some benefit and I felt better, but it wasn't totally done yet. But then when I started school in, uh, let's see, started in 1983, mm -hmm. and went to Life University, which was Life Chiropractic College back then, and I got my atlas specifically adjusted and lights came on. Whoa. I. So that encouraged you to, oh, yeah. inspired you to get into sure this field. Did. Yeah. And once in the field, I learned out, boy, there's something about this atlas work. And, uh, and, and the importance of that, and me personally, that I felt the impact. And I said, well, I got to know this stuff very well. So I, I later joined a club there on campus, uh, a cervical club, and I became involved with that. I did some research, and I just sought out how to better treat that one specific segment. And that got me into Dr. Roy Sweat's work, who's 90 this year, and he's wow. still working five five days a week. I call him out once every month or so with a difficult case, and he just he, when you've been doing it for 60 years, you really know your stuff pretty well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's and and I'm working on an audio version of the book with his daughter-in-law, Tecla Sweat, answering asking him some questions. So that's, that's about done. Now you have a practice here in Goldsboro. Correct. Uh, but from where do your, your clients or patients come? Well, well, you mentioned Bath a moment ago. Right. That's a pretty good haul. It is. Wilmington, um, 
uh, New Bern, uh, a pretty good draw, but I had one patient that read the book in uh, Buffalo, New York, just south of there, and they, they make the drive down. Really? I'm going to see her a week from today for her second uh, visit. Well, that's quite a haul. It is. What about long distance driving? Isn't that an issue? <laughs> <laughs> it can be. I don't. I, they need to have someone drive it for them. Yeah. Because yeah. she just rests on the trek back up, yeah. and all. And uh, yeah, but when we do treat, I'm trying to reach out to the um, the Marines, uh, the local camps around here. I have one of my patients that works at the base there, and she's giving me some contacts of different organizations that you know I could possibly help. Yeah. And they, they have those IUD, I mean, no, those explosive devices out there. They oh, really yeah. get their heads rattled a lot. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, well, we do here at Seymour Johnson as well. You know, true. there's a lot of explosives, a lot of ordnance there. Right. And I, I treat some of the fighter pilots, and then they're, they're pulling 78 Gs, looking yeah. back over this way, seeing yeah. who's behind them. And that's, that's pretty challenging. So, you know, there has to be so many things in someone's life that you take for granted every day that you do every day that mm -hmm. can be detrimental that there is big time detrimental right. you mentioned walking off stepping off a curb i've done that yeah and you just kind of misstep and you hit and you mm -hmm. hit kind of hard getting into your car quickly and just bumping your head, Bump your head. on that because it's it's there's one of the thing well, a couple of things about this one light light bone two or three ounces is that you've heard a rupture disc, bulging disc. Oh, yeah. Well, it never happens there because there's no disc. There's no disc. There's no disc at this, the occipital, allantal, allantal axle. Well, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> C1, C2 in the skull. Right. There's that. no disc here. It's just very mobile. So how is it protected if there's no disc? Um, by the muscles and just gravity. Okay. Coming down, holding the joint together for stability. Okay, just, so it's just that's why roller coaster rides and things like that kind of force they can trip it up. Really? Because the G forces that are the, as the fighter pilots deal with, it's just you're not. This isn't coming this way. It's coming this way or that way or upside down. And that would hold true as well for NASCAR drivers as well. I'm sure. True. That's yeah. why they've got that that that, uh, that support there and many things to hold things in alignment to give it extra strength. Yeah. They need if they're challenged. Okay, so. so you wrote the book, Is mm -hmm. Your Head on Straight? Mm -hmm. uh, and people can see it behind us here. That's the, the cover, as you can see here. Is Your Head on Straight? And it's, a, right. it, it's not a very thick book, but it looks like it's got a ton of information in here. It is. Uh, it, as it was autobiographic, and then it just um, kind of morphed into uh, a tribute somewhat to Dr. Roy Sweat because he invented the technique and I shared a lot about that. And then I went into case studies. The bulk of that is probably case studies that I just shared of patients I dealt with that, that wrote me testimonials. Um, Where is your practice here in Goldsboro? I'm six blocks from the courthouse here. Really? Down Ash Street. Oh, right. you're on East Ash Street? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. Well, is there a number? What's the 1304 okay. East Ash Street okay. um, on the right. Well, you are down. close by, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we are. Yeah, uh -huh. we are. And and just the, the cases in there. I know where your place is, sure. You're near the library, aren't you? Just beyond the library. Beyond the library. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Well, we're just about three blocks past yeah. the library. Yeah, the, the library is at 1001 and you're 13-something. Oh, right, three on blocks. On the right. Right, right. right. Just past First Press. Gotcha. That's okay. That's on Ash. And uh, just, the, that's what warms my heart is just, my mission statement is that God would use me to restore people the way they're created to be. And people living on drugs because they're not happy with their bodies, they're not hearing what the body's saying. Because chapter five, I said, what is your body saying? And chapter six is, what's up with drugs? Because if you're taking drugs and answer to what your body's trying to tell you, whose side are you on? Because <laughs> your body's built to complain. That, yeah, it is. And if we're not answering the uh, complaints correctly, yeah. if we're masking down, putting duct tape on the dashboard of the car of our <laughs> life, we're not going to get very good mileage I out of it. I love that. So, Don't put duct tape on the, the dashboard, dashboard of your car of life, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's good, yeah. <laughs> That's <Quote> good. That. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> now, your body's talking to you. Mine screams at me. Yeah. But, uh, if you're feeling bad, if there's a little ache or pain here or there, it could all it could all stem from this, no pun intended. Right. Okay. <laughs> could have its beginning there. It could have its beginning there. But even if not, we, we have a, we, the activator is the technique we use in the rest of the spine. Uh, it's a 
similar to the Atlas Orthogonal work, but it's, it does give an excursion. It's a machine, uh, handheld device that just gives a little impulse into the joint that's out of alignment. It's not quite right. It's dysfunctional. And, and what you do, there's no pain involved. Now, I've been, no. to, I've been to a chiropractor years ago, but there's no, yeah. you, don't, you don't hurt people, in we fact. We don't twist and pop, or, <laughs> yeah, so. You don't twist or pop? No, no, Oh, no, well, no. I had that done one time, and yeah. it, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard stories yeah, like that, yes, I But it helped me uh, it does. at the time. Work. Chiropractic the, does work, there's yeah. no doubt about it. It does, it there's does. There's a lot of different techniques, but they all work. I just gyrated through that through my personal experience. Yeah. And, um, I'm, I'm dedicated to doing that. I've, I've been doing this work. I got board certified back in 05 because um, I, I know it works and that's what I'm passionate about and making a difference in the lives of others. And you went to Life University? Is yes, sir. And where is that? That's in Marietta, Georgia. Oh, okay. 87. It's now the world's largest chiropractic university. Right? Yeah, pretty large. And I go down there about once a year for the homecoming. And uh, I was actually selling my book. They, the first time ever they set up a um, alumni authors table. Oh. And they had me out there. I was the first one to do it. Wow. And I just sold my book to classmates and prospective students mm -hmm. and students and just, it was a fun environment. Well, I'm real curious. Where is the book available? Uh, it's right now, it's on Amazon. Okay. I, I've got a number of copies at my clinic here in town. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Okay. So somebody could come by there. Yeah. Come All by right. there and buy it. And, um, All right making a difference. Exactly. So 1300 block of East Ash Street. Is Your Head on Straight is the name of the book and you you start out autobiographical. You mm -hmm. mentioned the motorcycle accident right, and the right, coma right. and all that. Right. I'm sure it's a good read and uh, uh, I will I will want to get a copy of it as well. Okay. So uh, uh, Dr. Patrick Gallagher, what, what should we be doing to protect ourselves? What would be your advice just in general? As we go through that dashboard of life or whatever you said a little yeah, while ago, okay. car of life. Well, uh, one simple thing, I even have a picture of my wife and I in here on the chapter on traumatic brain injuries, Yeah. that um, uh, you need to wear now, your helmets. Traumatic brain injuries, that's a whole new, oh, another book, is. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I had yeah. stories. Um, that in there is um, my wife, I, and those are our godchildren. And we all have our helmets on. Well, good for you. The number one cause of uh, traumatic brain injury from sports activities, if you include bicycling with that, is bicycle riding. And not wearing a helmet. And not wearing a helmet. Right, right, right. That's because you hit your head on the concrete. It doesn't take much, and you don't have a helmet on. I've heard of people say, well, my helmet broke. What good was that? I said, well, it's better your helmet <laughs> than, than your, your skull. Than your skull, yeah. <laughs> right. And that gentleman had, um, he's at Renew Life. And... Uh, if you can see the difference in the in the shoe height there, that that was quite a bit. And he was in a he was he was in a bicycle accident. He didn't have the helmet on, and he got struck by a car. And he was in a coma two months. But when he came out of the coma, and came out of the hospital, they said, "Why does leg length so different?" And the doctor said, "Well, he had a one-sided growth spurt." One-sided. Nah, it wasn't reality though. They had to say something. But we <laughs> he came into my <laughs> clinic, and we adjusted him, and his legs came balanced. So his head was so distorted, his body adapted by three quarters of an inch. It drew wow. up a leg. So I was in a penundrum. Am I gonna let him walk out of my clinic with that imbalance in his shoes? So I kept those <laughs> in my <laughs> clinic now. So he walked out in stocking feet that day. So, you wow. know. It's Interesting. It's a, it's a science that, uh, it is a science. It is. That's, uh, it's innate intelligence. The body knows how to function. Yeah. And if this is going on and you do this to level the head out, well, that's the body's attempt to deal with it. You should listen to your body. Yes. The body your knows body best. body screams at you. body knows best. <laughs> All right. What's your phone number? 919-735-4300. Uh, All right. Dr. Patrick Gallagher, the name of the book is, Is Your Head On Straight? <laughs> I love the title. Thank Patrick, you. always good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much, my friend. We're back on Sunrise. Thank you for being with us. What's next? What is next, Wang? I we have the first. Goldsboro Police Department Career Fair. Oh, yeah. That hey. is Wednesday. If you've ever considered 
a career in law enforcement, here's an opportunity right here. You just have to go. There's no commitment. Just go and talk to them. Just think about it. If you're thinking about it, go talk to them. Sergeant Jason Adams passed this along to us the other day. It is this Wednesday, December 6th, from 3 until 6 p.m. at the W.A. Foster Recreation Center on South John Street. 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, you get to talk with GPD officers, that's Goldsboro Police Department officers, about making a career with the Goldsboro Police Department. And you'll be able to ask about pay and benefits, be able to ask about financial assistance for BLET, that's basic law enforcement training. And you'll also be able to talk to them about a ride-along program, just to make sure this is what you want to do. You ride with a Goldsboro police officer during a shift. Minimum requirements now, just minimum. You've got to be 20 years of age. You have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to have a high school diploma or a GED certificate. You have to possess a North Carolina, a valid North Carolina driver's license. Your vision must be correctable to 2020 in both eyes with no color blindness. You must be able to successfully pass a background and criminal records check. Sergeant Jason Adams is your contact person. He is at 919-580-4245. 580-4245. And that's coming up Wednesday. Also on Wednesday is the Education Hot Topic with, from the Chamber of Commerce. This will be at Lane Tree beginning at 12 o'clock until 1.30. And the three speakers will be Dr. Dunsmore, which is the superintendent for Wayne County Public Schools, Dr. Philip Kerstetter, which is the president of University of Mount Olive, and Dr. Thomas Walker, the president of Wayne Community College. What a lineup. I am telling you. You can't get no better than you, that. You, you can't. You can't. Those are three experts, three extremely knowledgeable individuals about uh, education. That's it. I, you, you, you go to the top for information like that. Build your body, build your community, and here's how you do that. Goldsboro Family Y offering you a really, really, really good deal. When you join the Goldsboro Family YMCA between now and December 15th, you bring in a $50 or more gift card from Walmart or Target, they will take care of your joining fee. The joining fee will be waived. A $50 gift card from Target or Walmart and they will waive the joining fee at the Family Y. 100% of the donated gift cards will be distributed to local families in need. They will be used for their purchases during the annual Wise Men Outreach event. It all goes to the to needy folks, the, folks in need here in Wayne County. Uh, when you join the Family Y, you get personal training. There's over 95 weekly classes. There's an Olympic size and warm water swimming pools. And I love those. Oh, they're nice. They all have all kinds of modern equipment. They recently did their exercise room, which is chocked full of, of exercise equipment. And uh, there's a sense of community there at the Goldsboro Family Y. It's just a wonderful place. The Y is a nonprofit like no other. It's, uh, the YMCA is in 10,000 neighborhoods across the USA, 10,000. They have the presence and partnerships to not just promise, but deliver positive change. They'll do everything in their power to inspire the common good and make life better for individuals, families, and communities. They're just more than just a gymnasium. Goldsboro Family YMCA is at 1105 Parkway Drive in Goldsboro. Their telephone number, 919-778-8557. And here's an opportunity for you to join the Y and help somebody in need at the same time. It's just a great opportunity. Okay. Okay. Trivia answer. Oh, the answer to the trivia question. Name the only two nations in the entire world who border three oceans. Well, you got the Arctic Ocean. You got the Pacific Ocean. And you had the Atlantic Ocean, among all the others, like the Indian Ocean and the... Oh, anyway, the Arctic, the Arctic, the Pacific, and the Atlantic Ocean, all three oceans touch Canada and the United States. Alaska's up there, too. Those are the two nations, the only two nations in the world that border three oceans. There you go. That's the answer to today's trivia question. That's going to wrap it up for today. Let's do it again tomorrow. We'll be back at 7. The show repeats every day at, at noon and then again at 5.30 p.m. Don't forget the commissioner's meeting tomorrow starting at 8 o'clock. Everybody's no, invited. this morning. Don't forget the commissioner's meeting that starts at 8 o'clock this morning. We'll see you there.
Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and watch us on YouTube at Wayne County Government. What's so funny? Wayne Alley. So until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Pat Garner. And this is Sunrise with Wayne and Pat.